Having a mobile charger to charge your Tesla at home is the easiest way to do it. Here is a list of things you need to know. 1. Power Requirements Charging your Tesla with a 120 volt power line is not efficient. To charge every 10% takes about 3 hours. A 240 volt power line is recommended. To charge every 10% takes about 1 and a half hours. 2. Checking for 240 volt power. Ensure that your house has 240 volt power, otherwise, you may need to hire an electrician to help you set it up. Most houses built after the 1980s have 240 volt power. If your house was built before that, simply check the power panel. If your power panel has a double pole circuit breaker, your house likely has 240 volt power. If all the circuit breakers are single, then your house likely does not have 240 volt power. 3. Location of 240 volt outlets. Typically, 240 volt outlets can be found near the dryer or in the kitchen. 4. Different types of 240 volt outlets. Common types include 6, 15, 6, 20, 10, 30, 14, 30, 14, 50, and 6, 50. The Tesla Mobile Charger comes with only one adapter for 240 volt which is the 14-50P. If you don't have a 14-50R outlet in your house, you can easily find a third-party 14-50R adapter for about $25. For example, my house has a 10-30R outlet next to the dryer, so I bought a 10-30P to 14-50R adapter. Alternatively, you can pay $45 to get an adapter that fits your type of outlet directly from Tesla. Five, cable organizer. It's a good idea to have a cable organizer to keep your charger neatly in place. Six, charge current. Depending on your power line capacity, setting the charge current is necessary. In my case, I tried 24 amp and 20 amp, but both times the circuit breaker was triggered. Eventually, I set it to 19 amp, which worked without issues. Seven, memorizing the charge current. The charge current can be set on your phone app, but this setting has to be adjusted every time you charge the car. To have your Tesla remember the charge current, you need to set it on your car's monitor. After that, the car will keep the same current setting in your garage. Hopefully, this video helps you. Enjoy your Tesla, and thank you for watching.